Hey folks, meteorologist Tyler Eliason here. Thanks for checking in with us at MyFoxHurricane.com. Watching ESAES closely today. It's been an up and down kind of day. Uh, some sheer dry air getting ingested into the storm through the late morning and early afternoon and really not looking all that hot. Now we have kind of a new convective burst blowing up uh, right near the center, kind of on the northern side of that. Uh, right now, the actual center of the storm is kind of right in here. And you can see that big blow up of convection slowly enveloping that. That's going to want to tuck this center back underneath that, kind of drawing it straight to the north. So we'll see if we maybe see the storms re-strengthen into a hurricane. As of 5 o'clock, it was downgraded to a tropical storm with winds of 70, 70 miles per hour. You may see those winds go back up to 75 or 80 and it become a hurricane at 8 o'clock or 11 o'clock with subsequent advisory. So a little uptick in intensity certainly possible as it nears landfall along Florida's east coast tomorrow afternoon. It's going to be a really close call for the east coast of the state. It may certainly stay 10 or 20 miles offshore, which would be great. That'll lessen uh, not only the wind impacts, but probably the surge impacts as well. But it's certainly possible that it kind of rides right up I-95, in which case you have really strong onshore wind right at the east coast beaches uh, and more of a, an intense surge, probably four or five feet uh, in that case above normal tide levels. Uh, if you're further west in the state, say over towards Tampa Bay, uh, the further west you go, the, the less impacts you're going to have. Wind gusts of 20, maybe 30 30 miles per hour tomorrow afternoon and you'll get some fast moving showers kind of sweeping east to west across the state tomorrow uh, as well. Certainly manageable. The worst of the weather is going to be on the east coast of Florida. From there, we'll watch ECS slowly make its way up the east coast. Uh, Coastal Carolinas will have to watch it on Tuesday and later on in the week, New England, certainly some impacts with some wind and rain. Probability of tropical storm force winds near 100% in West Palm Beach. Uh, near the coastline on the east coast, obviously a better bet for seeing some of those stronger wind gusts, but it drops off substantially the further west you go. So watching ES, ECS closely uh, the rest of the day today, landfall, if there is one, is going to be sometime Sunday afternoon. We'll keep you updated here at MyFoxHurricane.com through the weekend. Stay well.